Well, uh, St. Paul's School happens to be not only very old, having shifted from Calcutta to Darjeeling in Dr. Brian Hodgson's days in the 1860s, but also developed as an Anglo-Indian institution for the children of British expatriates and others, and has grown into an Indian public school of high expectations and ex traditional excellence, both academic and extracurricular. There is an increasing number of good schools all over India, but St. Paul's has a long tradition of very diverse intake of children from all over the world. I remember there are children from Borneo, there are children from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, the children from Singapore, Thailand, lots of children from the United Kingdom and America, some of them, and Europe, as well as from all over India, which is very uh, unique for uh, any school in India. Well, it's the same Church of North India, the old Anglican Church, which administers St. Stephen's College in Delhi, Whereas you know there have been numbers of controversies and it's a great college, it's one of the greatest colleges in, the, in Asia. Similarly, St. Paul's has the same Church of North India as the administrators, the bishops, the moderator. And yet at St. Paul's school there is a kind of harmony and educational excellence and aim which has been achieved and is being achieved in harmonious relationships with all religions, with all denominations, and without any hint of controversy. Not that everything is easy in Darjeeling. Like anywhere else in India, there is a rising uh, surge of expectations. But St. Paul's School has been able to provide the kind of moderating influence to the democratic transitions which are taking place in India and has therefore now become or could be considered to have be become uh, one of the best public schools in India. I recall the results of the academic results of this school say about 20-30 years ago were the best in India and are again rising. So I would say St. Paul's School is almost a kind of model for the rest of the Indian public school system. You could think of the Doon School there, Doon and New College Ajmer, but down east we find that St. Paul's School is really something which covers the northeast of India as well as the southeast Asia and has students from all over the world. It Darjeeling already is a so a medley of races, medley of cultures, medley of religions and mindsets. And it has managed to retain the unique excellence of its educational systems. Other activities like tourism and the tea gardens, for example, they continue to provide not only employment, but a lot of excellence. And that feeds into the many good schools of Darjeeling, particularly St. Paul's, which is apparently the best.